Hubble found a galaxy that never turned on. Picture a galaxy seed made of gas and dark matter with zero stars. Not dim, not hidden, just nothing. This object is nicknamed Cloud 9. It's a compact cloud of hydrogen sitting near the spiral galaxy Messier 94. And it's not small. The core is about 4,900 light years across, holding roughly a million suns worth of hydrogen gas. Radio telescopes spotted it first because hydrogen glows at a special radio wavelength. Fast flagged it, then Green Bank and the VLA followed up to map the gas. But here's the control test. If this is a normal tiny galaxy, even a faint one, it should have at least some stars. So astronomers pointed Hubble at the exact spot. And Hubble saw no stellar population, no sprinkle of faint stars, nothing you'd expect from a dwarf galaxy. So Cloud 9 isn't hard to see. It's genuinely starless. Now the weird part, gas like this shouldn't just float in space forever. If it's being held together by a dark matter halo, the implied total dark matter mass is around 5 billion suns. Important, that number is inferred from a model. It's not a direct dark matter photo. This may be the first confirmed example of a predicted object called a relic, basically a dark matter halo that kept its hydrogen but never formed stars. The leading idea is reionization. Early in the universe, intense ultraviolet light heated and ionized hydrogen gas. For small halos, that heat can keep gas too puffy to collapse, so star formation never really starts. And Cloud9 sits in a strange in-between zone, big enough to still hold on to gas, but apparently not able to squeeze it into stars. There are also hints the gas is slightly distorted, which could mean it's interacting with Messier 94. That part is still interpretation. If Cloud9 is real, and it is, then the big question is, how many more are hiding out there? Because finding a population of starless halos would be a huge clue about how galaxies fail to form. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing science with SciBite Insights.